Hi everybody. Here is my review for this game as I have already played the original part 1 game that I have played and absolutely loved including the connection that built up between Ellie and Joel, favorite characters. Love the story plot, graphics, choices of weapons. Now for the second part of this game I also enjoy the graphics, weapon options and being able to explore different environments in the game as well as different ways of killing such as being able to approach the enemy close and snapping of the neck, stabbing etc. Now, what I don't like about part 2 of the game is that Joel's character was disrespected by the writer. His character seemed more vulnerable and stupid versus the part 1 of the game he was much more cautious, smarter, aware of his surroundings, not as trusting of others. Example, part 1 of the game in the scene Joel drove past a family with a young child pleading for help and another scene in the game there was a man faking an injury asking for help, Joel was able to see this deceit from a mile away. In part 2 of the game Joel seemed less on guard, naive, not as precautions. In part 2 of the game it seems as if the writers, producers rushed through to just make a storyline that did not make any sense or kept to the original character build up from the part 1. The game seemed rushed, originally Joel was the heart of the game this was also something that Neil the creator of the game had promised fans in part 1 of the game that Joel would still be the heart of game and continuation of part 2. Example, in part 2 of the game Joel saved a random girl, Abby, from being killed by zombies. Tommy, Joel's brother, tells Abby and her group the exact location of where they were staying. Also when they were at the house with no electricity, no weapons with a group of strangers, Abby and her group. Tommy introduces himself, Joel walks in the middle of the room and introduces himself, this should have been a red flag. This doesn't make sense to interact with a group of strangers as this is not something that Joel and Tommy would do who was easily able to to have been naive, shortly after he had saved Abby's life. She easily ambushed him with a group of her friends who shot his leg, brutally beaten him to death with a golf club in front of Ellie, and seemed like he didn't have a fighting chance as he was portrayed in this one, his character was made so weak. Writers, producers emotionally trying to manipulate players example, after Abby had brutally beaten Joel to death. Players are forced to play as Abby, in the game Abby plays fetch with a dog. Later, in the scene Ellie brutally kills the same dog as well as other animals. This seemed to be manipulated and poorly written. They did not not give enough background story for Abby. I feel that a background storyline for Abby should have been presented at the beginning of the game. Joel killed Abby's father in the past who was a surgeon about to extract a cure from Ellie's brain which would have killed Ellie eventually. I think that if that had taken the storyline to this direction, the players would empathize with Abby. Her story shouldn't have been presented after killing Joel. I also feel that Ellie should have killed Abby and not have mercy on her as Ellie has killed thousands of people so it throws you off the game when she does not kill Abby when she has good reasons for killing her. Especially that Abby killed Joel who was like a father figure to Ellie, that alone should have been enough to kill Abby. Also Ellie should have forgiven Joel for saving her life, continuing the strong father-like daughter relationship they had in the first game. As this game should have been about more hope and forgiveness. The relationship between him and Ellie seemed to drift apart as she could forgive him for saving her life in part 1. I felt very heartbroken, upset and disappointed near the end of the game when Ellie had attempted to avenge Joel's death by killing Abby which she ended up not doing. Ellie tries to play guitar while reminiscing about Joel but she was having a hard time playing because she was missing two fingers because Abby had bitten them off during their fight. Makes it seem like the writers producers of this game are trying to deceive players by doing things such as the killing of Joel was done so quickly during the game, seems as if writers, producers were trying to quickly change the direction of the game. Also in the game trailer showed Joel alive during the whole game, but that seemed to not be the case when you play part 2 of the game. Part 2 of the trailer I was very excited looking forward to playing part 2 of the game. I have been a big fan of Naughty Dog, the producers, writers of The Last of Us. I have been a fan since 2007, my first game was Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. I was window shopping and I randomly picked up this game, I was not too sure about this game but decided to give it a try. I absolutely loved playing this game, all the series of Uncharted including The Last of Us playing part 2 of the game and noticed how writers tried to downplay fans by switching Joel's character. This made me very upset, disappointed to the point where I actually lost interest and wanted to stop playing the game. I love games that include lots of action and problem solving. In the beginning of the game I was feeling very happy and excited to play The Last of Us Part 2. Feeling sad and mad to the point that I no longer wanted to play the game after Abby killed Joel. Other players that were just as excited and patiently waiting for about 7 years for Part 2 of this game were also just as disappointed as me comparing the original Part 1 to Part 2 of this game. Stores selling part 2 of this game did not make much profit worldwide, some stores went as far as to offer the buy 3, get 1 for free and nobody was buying. For part 2 of The Last of Us Part 2 rate this game a 4 out of 10 and for Uncharted I give it a 10 of 10 all their series. The Last of Us 2 was nothing compared to Uncharted. 
I loved everything about the storyline, characters as well as the ending which was so perfect because my favorite character had a baby at the end of the fourth series. I feel that I am no longer a fan of Naughty Dog. My as a viewer is a lost fan, I will not buy any new games from Naughty Dog.